Hey guys, it's your Peacekeeper, and in this video we're going to be exploring a problem that Wargaming believes doesn't actually exist in the game. And this is the, as you can tell, the Royal Navy Cruiser Smoke Bug. And the bug that I'm talking about has absolutely nothing to do with the... What's the right way to put this? Has nothing to do with the speed at which the ship is deployed, meaning... My goal here isn't to become concealed and stay concealed while I'm deploying smoke, but to be able to slow down and deploy a cloud of smoke behind me that's two or three or even larger uh, smoke circles. Now, larger than three is extremely rare. Three itself is rare, so that's kind of uh, <laughs> already one of those points where it's like, well, maybe, I don't know. Anyway... To demonstrate this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy smoke at full speed. Now, in a perfect world, if I do this enough times, it should consistently produce the maximum number of smoke circles because the whole explanation given by Wargaming is that, well, you're not traveling fast enough to create more than two or three smoke circles, and as a result, you're only getting one, and that this is not a design bug, but instead a feature, in quotes, of the ship class and is something that needs to be addressed. The other part of this test that I want to do is figure out at what speed can I reliably do this so that I only get the two or three that I'm looking for and come to a stop. Now, on previous ships, it was between 24 and 22 knots. However, those of you who have played Fiji on up know that it is very inconsistent in its ability to deploy at those speeds. In fact, I have a video of it that I can link into this of the lack of proper smoke deployment. So let's go ahead and let's quit blabbing here. Let's deploy smoke and see just how many smoke circles we actually get. Now, in the past, this problem has given me exactly one smoke circle. So there's two. So we've gotten two from this first set. And that is deployed at the maximum speed of the ship at 33 and a half knots. That is the expected result. Like I said, it's either two or three, depending on the distance that the ship has traveled. So this next time that it comes up here in two minutes and 26 seconds, we are going to go ahead and we are going to deploy it at the assumed speed of 24 knots and see if we can't get the two smoke circles to appear. All right, so this next run, what we are going to do is we are going to line ourselves up here again, and we are going to deploy the smoke at 24 knots. And in order to do that, we are going to wait for our consumable to come up, which you can see it popped up early there. That is really quite disconcerting, and that is in and of itself yet another interesting bug, is that the smoke consumable itself comes up way earlier than it should. At least it says that it is up when in reality it's not. So we'll wait a couple more seconds here before we deploy it. And again, the purpose of this test is to demonstrate that the smoke rings are not accurately deploying. So we are at the max speed of the ship here. We're going to cut it to full reverse and deploy our smoke at 24 knots as it shows indicated. And this would be about the speed at which the ship would... Okay, we've hit the button and we've deployed. We've got one smoke ring and nothing. So you can see this is exactly what I was trying to demonstrate. This is this is perfect. We're going to repeat this demonstration again with how it comes back. But you can see it only created one smoke ring and we have stopped within what would have been the second smoke ring. And this is the, the exact conditions that I was trying to explain to Wargaming in the video that I made for them and sent them and apparently it wasn't clear so we're gonna have to try some more extreme results but you can see it only created one smoke ring and this is the problem that I have because the ship still had we still had over two seconds of smoke deployment and the ship was outside of the first ring almost completely and this is a problem that not only affects Neptune it affects Minotaur it affects the Fiji and I've heard it even affects Leander to some extent at some speed. This is unacceptable. 
because I can deploy this at low speed, which on our final consumable, we'll use our final consumable at a lower speed. We'll deploy it at 18 knots and see if we can't get the same problem to come up. If we, if we get two smoke rings deploying at that lower speed, then obviously there's a problem with the way that the game is representing smoke because... Obviously, I should be getting more than one smoke ring at this speed if lower speed produces it and higher speed produces it. So we already saw that at full speed, we get two smoke rings. At 24 knots, it was 23.7, we get one. So we are going to redo the 23.7 knot run just to make sure that it wasn't just some fluke. But that definitely did exactly what I expected it to do, which was to not properly deploy the smoke meaning we didn't get the second ring all right so our smoke ring is back up again we are going to try and deploy it at the same exact speed as we did before again we are we are up to full speed we're going to cut it into reverse here let me get turned slightly so i'm at least in the the correct line from the previous test and we'll get back up to speed here but again, we're going to deploy this at the same exact speed, which is about the time that I see 24 knots pop up, we're gonna hit the smoke consumable button and see how many smoke rings we get. And then the last charge will be testing to see if that smoke ring, if we get more than two, uh, more than one smoke ring at lower speeds. Now the obvious expectation is that at a lower speed, we should only get one smoke ring because the ship hasn't traveled far enough. All right, so we are at max speed. We're cutting our speed down, and once again, we are waiting until we see 24 knots pull up on our deploy. There's the 24 knots. We hit the deploy, and one ring, and we still got over a second. One ring. Once again, 24 knots results in a consistent one ring. So we've used two consumables, and we have shown that at 24 knots, you will only get one smoke ring if you deploy it at that speed. If I deploy it faster than that speed, we obviously get more than one smoke ring. This, you can obviously see, is a problem because, generally speaking, I would be coming to a complete stop at the outer edge, basically where my cursor is at on there, of the next smoke ring that it should be creating but isn't. And that would mean that I could then fire and be in smoke. But if I wait until this very last ring shows up, if it never shows up, that means I can't start firing because I, I get detected instantly. I'm going slow. That means I'm going to get deleted because I'm a Royal Navy cruiser. So you can see this is actually a really big problem that Wargaming just it flat ignores as being a problem. And that's the whole premise of this video. In fact, I'm not even going to put this on my YouTube channel as a, a, a normal video. This is going to be an additional video to my release schedule because I feel that this is an important issue that Wargaming really needs to address more important than anything else because it directly affects the balance of these ships and the survivability of these ships, which these ships do not need any extra punishment when it comes to the survivability aspect because it's already too low. Now, some of you will notice that my ping in the upper left-hand corner is really high, and that's because I'm uploading a video to YouTube at this moment. We're in a training room. I, I don't believe lag or or net code has anything to do with this i'm not a programmer though and i'm i can certainly retry this test when i get wake up later tonight and uh i'm not uploading videos all right so our final smoke consumable is up and again the previous three tests have been from full speed which was 33 and a half knots two tests at 24 knots and in the, obviously in the first test, we got the two smoke rings as expected. In the previous ones at the 24 knot range, we only got the one smoke ring. This one, we are going to wait until we get slower down to 18 knots. And we'll see if we can repeat this result at 18 knots. So we are almost up to full speed here. Ah, we're close enough. Let's do it. So we're going to kick it into full reverse. And we are going to deploy the smoke as soon as I see 18 knots. Smoke's been deployed. A little bit of lag there on the key. And you can see we've already created two smoke rings. So in this case, we've created two smoke rings. So you can't tell me, Wargaming, that this problem isn't a bug. Because if I'm going faster than 24 knots, I, all of a sudden I get two smoke rings. If I'm going exactly 24 knots when I deploy... 
I get one smoke ring. When I'm going 18 knots, I get two smoke rings. Why is there this gap between 18 and faster than 24 knots that I only get one smoke ring? This is the bug that I was talking about in my bug report to you guys. I'm hoping that this video helps demonstrate exactly what I was talking about. And I, I don't know. And if anybody else has done any other testing similar to this, let me know. I, I think that this is definitely a bug that Wargaming needs to address. Like I said, it, it really impacts the Royal Navy cruiser line more than anything. I, I just, it boggles my mind that this somehow isn't easily conveyed to Wargaming. And this video shows exactly what the problem is. Anyway, I'm your peacekeeper. And I hope you guys found this video interesting. If you did, throw a like down there. Also comment, throw your comments down in the comment section. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching.